What is up everyone? Thank you guys for joining me today. Um, today's going to be an exciting video because it's actually my first um, kit review video that I actually just bought in New Jersey. Um, I did do a kit review video for this one, but um, I kind of just reviewed the, the home and away for the Euros, um, kind of that format. Um, so if you want to go check out the review for this jersey, um, click the link in the description. Uh, I'll throw a couple playlists in there too. Um, but yeah, I've been wearing this jersey every day right now. The Euros are amazing right now. I'm super pumped for the quarterfinal match against Ukraine. Um, as you guys know, I am cheering for England. And um, today, I had to buy a new jersey. You saw it in the thumbnail. You saw it in the title. Um, let's check out this shirt. All right, so the shirt that I bought today is going to be the England um, away kit. So they actually haven't worn this yet, but I'm really hoping they do because it's a really nice kit. Um, I ranked it pretty highly in my away kit rankings. If you want to check out that video, click in the description. So let's take a look at the details. So looking here at the detailed look at the shirt, you can see that, um, sorry for the wrinkles, but I can't really get a flat surface. Um, but you can see they kind of have the three lines from the logo. They kind of have put it throughout the jersey and cut with some kind of like diamond shapes. Um, and yeah, it's kind of like abstract, um, simple. Um, and they also have these lines coming straight down, um, which add kind of like a fast look of the jersey, um, which I really like. And then look at the collar here and the back tag. So um, this is a small shirt. Um, small Nike is usually how I go. I'm usually, I'm a pretty skinny guy, so um, it fits me well. Um, but I would, I would buy a jersey um, that's definitely your size for Nike if you're looking to buy your first one. Um, but one thing I really don't like about this is that they've put their star as blue. I think they should really highlight that because they've only won one World Cup. Um, so yeah, they should make that red and I think this would be perfect. Um, I like this outline swoosh. Um, they've got that the same color blue on the inside of the swoosh, which I have never seen before actually. Usually the swoosh would be all red. Um, but yeah, it's going to be outlined, so that's different. Um, haven't seen that much before. Arms are the same. There's usually, um, I would have, I, for my jerseys, I prefer to have a stripe here. Um, maybe like a red, but it's fine here. Um, I'm going to show you guys the stripes in a minute. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much the details of the jersey. Um, looking at the tags here, we've got... Uh, the, just the price, I bought this um, in Canada, so it's Canadian, $110. Um, just the brief tag and the technology, same with that. If you want to pause and read, it doesn't really matter. And then the other tag here is going to be the official England tag, uh, exclusive product. And it doesn't really matter, but I just wanted to show you guys. So it's the standard fit, so um, yeah, standard fit. So that's going to be the details of the shirt. Now here's myself actually wearing the shirt. Uh, so I bought a size small and it fits me pretty perfectly actually. Um, the sleeves are a great size and if you look on the sides you can see that red kind of zigzag stripe they have on both the home and the away kits. Um, that's the ni new Nike format um, and the design for the shirts. And on the back there's a little bit of an inseam. You can't really see it but um, just be behind that collar there. Um, but yeah, just the logo looks great. It's got two buttons right there and the collar I think looks looks great with that blue. So before I bought this, I was pretty hesitant from the pictures I saw online. I thought it was going to look kind of um, tacky with the, the design of the, the three lines in the abstract. Um, but I think this shirt works perfectly. Um, I'm really hoping they wear it because they've worn, they're moving on to the quarterfinals against Ukraine and they still have not worn it. They've worn the white every time. Um, so I'm really excited to see them if they wear that, um, but the white is kind of good luck right now. So whatever they need to do uh, to win. Um, so yeah, this is going to be the shirt. Um, I think I really like it. I like it more um, and comparing it to comparing it to this shirt here, it's just more, um, it's got more of a design, I guess, and just more work went into it. Um, this one's very plain and it's meant for like classical. Um, and just to, just to look like, like the all the other um, modern uh, or older English kits, which are kind of simple, um, but um, I think they these go perfect, um, perfect together. Um, they got one kind of abstract, kind of crazy looking kit, and a nice simple. Um, you can say boring, but it's not boring to me. It's a just a nice simple kit, and I think they go well with each other perfectly. Um, but to be honest, I think. If I could own one of these, I would own the white one for um, for the heritage and um, just for the history, of course, because they're playing all their games in it and it's their home. 
Um, but if I if I had both, which I do, um, the one I like more wearing is actually this one here. Um, it just fits. I, I like the collar. It's more tight. Um, just fits better on myself. Um, and I just love that blue color. I think um, the blue is just such a great color, and um, the red logo and the red swoosh is just awesome. So. Um, uh, Thank you, Nike, for making such a great kit. Um, that's going to be it for the video. So thank you guys for tuning in. Um, hopefully you guys are here for my next kit review, which are going to be some 2021-22 kits, um, which haven't been released yet, but they are getting shipped to me soon. Um, so I'm really excited to show you guys those. And yeah, hopefully you like and subscribe because so you can stay tuned for the next videos. So thank you guys. We'll see you in the next one.